<clears throat> okay, uh, hey, this is, uh, this is Jay. Um, recently there's been some people, uh, on the FX Sabres forums, uh, kind of complaining about how loud the, uh, the PCL soundboard is. It's available at TCSS. And I just want to do a little bit of a uh, comparison video here, uh, using several lightsabers that happen to be either mine or here on the bench, uh, awaiting work or shipment to their respective owners. Uh, back here, you might recognize this one as uh, Brass Saber number 2. Uh, this is Chrome Saber 30, uh, 31. Uh, this is Chrome Saber 33. Uh, so this is CS35. Now, these, to go over this, uh, these three back here all have CFs. This is a CF 4.1, this is a CF 5, CF 5, and a PC uh, U. Uh, this also has a PC U in it. This is my RLSA Saber. This is my uh, <clears throat> customized prophecy. Uh, it runs an ultrasound 2.5. This is a stock master replicas mall that uh, a friend of mine wants me to convert. Now we'll use that as a reference point for volume. And then over here we have uh, brass saber number one and chrome saber number one, uh, both of which were on master replica soundboards in our sync tube base and have uh, plenty of resonance uh, to them. So uh, I'm going to pull some kill keys here and get these started. That's the loudest one of the bunch right there. This part is over. This part is over. <laughs> cannot escape your destiny. Ultrasound 2.5. Okay, so. Uh, the. CF 4.1 is in uh, Brass Saber uh, 2 back there is the loudest of this bunch uh, and I don't have it turned up all the way. Now the construction style on most of these is pretty much the same. Uh, you have a speaker back here okay. and it will have, there's a gap behind it and on this one there is a hole in the speaker chamber there the back of the TCSS speaker mount. So that, what that does is it allows the speaker to back vent up the hilt and the sound waves will then travel up the hilt around everything that's in there and exit under a set of holes in the rib extension back here. That's what gives you your extra volume. So how does the uh, CF5 compare? Uh, this is basically the same construction. There's a battery here. Speakers back here. Soundboards up here. It's got holes. Uh, let's see. Let's start this up. Okay. Obviously, the CF4 is a little louder. This one doesn't have quite as much room for uh, resonance. So it's not quite as loud as CF5, but it's plenty loud enough. So how loud is the Petit Crouton that is in this Sabre compared to that? Well, it's not bad. And it's got the same construction style. There is a uh, triple pack back here. Of the There's a triple pack back here of uh, 14500 lithium ions speaker and then up here we have the recharge port and all that. Uh, empty space, the wires, soundboard. Now see that just did something everybody else else has been complaining about with the PC too. That's a, this is a CF and it just was just swinging all by itself and that happens sometimes. It, it's what happens when the, the sound vents up the hilt. It's gonna, see I wasn't even touching it and it just lets off a swing. It, it's gonna happen and really how much fun is this to just have it sitting on the bench humming. The, the, the saber is intended to do this. Right? You're supposed to play with it. You know? And I usually just turn it on and leave it sit. Now see, there's a PC powered saber with plenty of resonance and it's just sitting there humming. There, there's no Clash sounds going off, no impacts, nothing. See, I just moved it and it goes off.
That's what it's supposed to do. There it goes, all by itself. You know, it's kind of an unfortunate side effect, but I don't think you're going to get these to sound much more realistic than they already do, except to actually build a real working energy bladed lightsaber, which is, of course, impossible with today's technology. So let's see, how loud is this one compared to that? It's not as loud. And it's worse. I had the sensitivity turned up pretty loud on it because I want it sensitive when I'm doing this. Plus, this one has nowhere for sound uh, to exit out the rest of the hilt except for this hole right here and the charge port. So, let's see how loud is this ultrasound saber. So, just having an ultrasound is not a guarantee of a loud saber, and this is proof of it. It's not very loud compared to the stock mall. Hums louder, but the ignition wasn't. And this. This has been modified. This does have extra sound holes in it now. Uh, I recently took this apart and redid it and put a uh, 2.5 version of the ultrasound in it. If you do your usual saber movements with them, it, it works just fine. If you're trying to go like this with them, see, there's no sound effects with that either. Yeah, maybe if you do that, you're going to get a clash with the ultrasound. Because that's what it's programmed to do. This is supposed to simulate a blaster block. With a sudden stop. You know, that's how an accelerometer works. How loud is this one? That's not bad. It's still not as loud as that. This has the Return of the Jedi Master Up with this FX soundboard on it. Plenty of resonance. Check this out. There's the speaker. You take it out of the saber, you get nothing. As soon as you put it in there, the whole saber acts as a resonant chamber. Changes the pitch and the tone. Now this one also does not have any extra sound vents here. The only thing that might get a little extra venting is the sound out of the recharge port. Same with this. This one doesn't have any anywhere for extra for the sound to get out. Even an MR power saber will sometimes sometimes those will go off too when they're just sitting there. It happens. I mean, how often do you have your saber turned on and just sitting still? It... So how about just for fun we turn them all on? The reason this is doing that is because the soundboard is actually on top of the battery pack, so that's why it's doing that. The speaker's right there, the soundboard's right here. That one's battery's dead, so it already died. I'm gonna have to charge that. See, uh, honestly, really, I guess if you want to do a comparison and pick a winner, I guess the winner's right here. Uh, that's a CF4. It's loud, but 
if you turn it up too loud to its maximum, it, it clips and it sounds awful. So really, the the CF5 and uh, the the PC to me actually have a better quality sound. Really, uh, you know, it's it's just not that big of a deal, I guess. Maybe I'm one of the weird ones who doesn't think the saber should just sit there and hum on a on a bench or a shelf, or you know, they're meant to be played with, really, in my opinion. But I guess that's just my opinion. So I guess you can just take take uh, take or leave it as you will. Uh, so I guess there we go. That's uh. the way things are going to be. I mean, you just be happy that we have a soundboard. I mean, the soundboard in this, the ultrasound is not really, I mean, it's still being produced, but, you know, your quality on it is kind of hit or miss, whether or not you're going to get it, hit or miss. I mean, if you order the PCL, or even a PCU from a Smith, and you get the PCL from a T from TCSS, it's going to work for you, and you're going to get it. So, quit your whining and just build some sabers and have some fun. <laughs> I guess that's really all I got to say on it. So uh, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.